Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So it's Friday, 17th November. Just realised that I have not filmed anything at all this week. So I wanted to do a quick video and I've been hankering after making another little junk journal. I think sometimes I just see bits and pieces lying around that I've been putting aside to use and I decided, right, today I'm going to do that. So I am going to make one of the easiest junk journals ever. It should be quick, should be easy and I know there's lots of you that will already have made things much more sophisticated than this but you know this is just about having a bit of fun and there's people coming new to journaling, junk journaling all the time. So I have this piece of cardboard, it's a bit of a box and I was thinking this would make a perfect cover. I've got, I've been going through a whole load of old paperwork recently, so I've got envelopes, I've got the usual maps I always have around, I've got more envelopes and I think somebody sent me these. I've got scraps of paper, paper bag, dictionary pages, again I think that was one somebody sent me. Uh, it's a piece of caddy paper but I must have been stamping off on it. Bit of a sketchbook pad left over, drop sheets, so on, so on. Oh, packaging and a bit of an old yellow envelope and again I think somebody sent me something and I kept the envelope you can even see where it's faded so you need if you're going to do this you need something for a cover you'll need scraps such as this just junk and scissors or I will just use a ruler to tear things I'm going to use a punch but you could use an awl or a large darning needle, for example. Something to use to bind a journal. I've got a piece of garden twine here. I love using garden twine. I just love the feel of it. But you could use a piece of ribbon, a piece of string, ordinary household string, anything like that. I'm going to focus to begin with on making the journal, but I do then want to decorate the cover. But I'll make the journal first. So there's bits of this video I might actually speed up, but I am hoping to make this in under 15 minutes and then I want to call it my 10 minute journal because if the pages are quite small, I want to be able to come in, sit down, do a page in 10 minutes or less. If it takes me longer, if it takes 12 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm not going to worry about that. It's just something that's quick and easy that I can just kind of say, right, I'll do a page in that journal today. So, uh, if you do decide to make something like that, this then, you know, please tag me on Facebook or on Instagram, anywhere like that, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll see what you make. So let's get started. I thought when I saw these envelopes, a couple of these might be good to actually have as pockets within the journal so where I could slip things in. So ideally I'm looking to make something this size and I think that would be a really good size. This is probably, well, let's just let me tell you, it's a standard size envelope here. So it's about 23 and a half centimetres by... 11 and a quarter, something like that, in inches, just so you know. But I mean, you know, you fit this kind of thing to, to what you have. So nine inches and, oh, well, just over nine inches. About nine and a quarter by just under four and a half. So I think that'll make a nice size for doing a quick journal. I'm tempted to leave this little bit here. I know this is going to fit in, so it's almost going to be perfect, which will, you know, give me a little bit of cover there when I fold it. I think I'm only going to do one signature, but I will take this top bit off, albeit I did think it could make a pocket on the inside, but it's going to be too thick. So I'm literally just going to tear this off. I'll use my ruler just to give me a wee bit of a straight straight edge, but I'm honestly not too concerned 
if it goes all raggedy, which it is doing. There we go. And the other thing you need, your beverage of choice. So I am tempted to leave this bit on. I will just will I take this bit off. Yeah, I'll take that bit off. I meant to tie myself right. Just roughly. Just going to put a fold in it now. Do I want it that height? Hmm. Let's fold it and then decide. Gosh, my watch started to talk to me there. It does scare me sometimes when it does that. I don't know, that's not bad, is it? And in fact, because it's got that almost natural bend in it, Maybe even getting two signatures. Yeah. No, I'm just going to do one. So I've got my rough size, that will allow me to have some bigger pieces if needs be. So I'm just going to start folding, tearing and I'll probably put this on just at double speed. See how many pieces we have roughly. So I'm going to fold it all together and see just how thick this is. Miscounted. I've not even used everything that was here. One, two. Twenty. So I think we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> now, these are all different sizes, so as far as possible. I want a hole to catch at least one of them. Like so this, it isn't folded properly, better to try and get a reasonably neat 
all done it. So. Now at the moment they'll be too long for this. But height wise I'm okay. But probably what I'll do, I'll put some in. I'll fold some bits over to make pockets and others I'll just cut down. But what I'm going to do now is to take my punch. I think the smaller hole on this will do. I'm going to try and move this so I can push quite far in. I always find this difficult to move. That's it. So this is one of these crocodile things. You don't need anything as fancy as this. A basic hole punch would do. But I've got most of my papers centred, so I'm hoping that an inch in on each side will actually catch most of them. Now, I'm probably being a bit ambitious. I need to think this through because I need my tallest piece of paper to be the one that will make the holes in and that can then become a template. So I'm going to try and get that right down the middle there and punch that hole. And I'm going to do it from this side and punch that hole. Then I will use this as a guide for these. And I'll just do a few at a time. kind of centre them on that piece which was about the biggest so this should all work and I can see my hole here and the little bit through it So I'm actually going to swap and use the bigger hole because I'm looking at the thickness of my twine. It is quite a thick twine so I'm actually now going to uh, just repunch these holes. You'll see I've gone slightly off there but that's okay when I'm repunching that will come back into it. So that's all my papers punched. Now, what you can do if some, when they're centred, it looks like the punch isn't going to go through them, just move it up so one hole at least goes in, or you can just have it as a kind of a floating paper. Now, because my cover's taller and this doesn't reach that far in, I've got a slight issue, but all I'm going to do is to resolve that issue by just simply using my awl or a pokey tool or whatever because I put this on the full setting it won't now go right the way in that's absolutely fine so I, I will just use this and because it's cardboard I should be able to make it bigger if that's what's needed So I'll just stab it a few times 
just to break some of the cardboard down to be able to get the string through. Now I'm just going to sort my papers into order again. Right, so what I'm going to basically do now is start taking my string and put it from the middle of the journal, the inside, all the way through the top hole. Now if you've got something like string or twine like this, these end bits can come away. I find if it gets to the stage where it's really bothering me, I'll just put a bit of glue on it, leave it for a minute or so and it will harden and make it much easier. But I'm just going to start by stringing through the top hole. I'm not doing the cover at the moment, it's simply getting the signature together. I'll keep twisting this and if it keeps going through like that I won't need to put any glue on it but if that changes I will put glue on it. And then I'll do the exact same through the bottom hole. So again, from the inside, so I've got it through here, and then I'm just going to go through the bottom. Now you'd maybe see there when I was going through not everything had a second hole in it, that's fine, there will be a bit of movement but I'm okay with that. If you don't like to see that big bit of string or whatever you use in the middle, you can simply glue that together and it wouldn't be seen. It doesn't bother me, in fact if anything I quite like it. So I'm now just going to take this and put it through the hole in my cover. Now I could be decorating this now but I just want to get the basic journal made. I'm just taking the all again you could use large needle and I'm just making that hole a bit bigger. And all I'm going to do now is that's the way I want it so I'll just feed my string, my twine, on through there. And the other through here. Just take a quick look. It's a scraps line about there. So, I want this fairly tight inside. You can see it's going to fold okay. That's just a natural bend in the cardboard. It wants to do that, but that's fine. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a knot here. So trying to keep it taut. Just going to do a double knot. So we always think need a third hand. Now, you could simply leave this like this, you could leave long strands. That's not too tight just now, but I'm expecting this to expand anyway, so it means I can move all my pages and they're not tight, but as a build collage or whatever up on them. So, got that, you could cut it off, you could put charms or whatever on it. I'm actually going to use this as part of the closure so it will come around like this. But what I'm going to do now is start to cut down pages or fold over pages and uh, maybe make some pockets, some flip outs, whatever. So again, I'll put this bit on at speed.
So I mainly did folding over rather than tearing. Just do that. If it got to the point where this couldn't close easily, I think it really just needs a bit of a bend in it. Just to give a bit of depth. Yeah. But if it got to the point where I thought I can't now do that, then I will simply remove that bit and the journal will be open. I don't mind it either way, but here we have it that this can just tie right round. And there's plenty on there so that when I start to work in this and it starts to chunk out, then, you know, there's going to be plenty twine there to allow that expansion. So that's the basic journal. Now what I want to do is really take no longer than 10 minutes to decorate the cover. Obviously this could be done beforehand, but I wanted to get the journal done first. So I'm going to look out a few bits and pieces of scraps. These things here that I pulled off could be used. Uh, I've got, I try not to use kitchen towel, but I have been using it recently, but it's got some beautiful colours on it. I want this to be quite grungy. I've got other little scraps here, bits of fabric. So I'll look out a couple other things. Didn't use this page, I could even use a bit of that. Yeah, so back in a moment. Right, I've tried not to pull out too much because I don't want this to take too long. I'm going to try and keep it to 10 minutes. I'm not even sure I'm going to time it though, but I, I'm going to mainly use a glue stick. Hopefully that sticks everything. Pulled out an image that was in my collage folder. Bits and pieces, some of these I've been using before, but I quite like this on it. So came across this word. Hate the pink, but I can maybe go round it in black. That'll take a bit of time up, mind you, but might even use some bits of this because it's quite grungy. Might even use a bit of this, and I'd quite like to use a bit of this. So that might not stick with glue stick. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'm going to get started. Again, I'll probably just do this as a speed process. And I've got some black gesso, white gesso that I might use, and I might use some neo colours. I will see. I've not treated this. Normally I would treat cardboard with a layer of glue, first of all, but I haven't. So, here it goes.
Right, I think that's me. It's not quite dry, but uh, it won't take long. I decided not to do the back cover. I might do that another day. I don't know if it took me 10 minutes or longer. I didn't time it in the end. I got a, one of these scam phone calls whilst I was doing it and that just knocked me off track. Doesn't matter. I used three neo colours. I, I, I was looking at some of the colours in the background and just trying to pick them up in a way. So three neo colour twos, uh, emerald green, ochre and black. So that was the only three I used. Other than that, just black gesso, white gesso. A piece of tissue uh, split, which was good because otherwise it might have lifted, but I was able to use the two. So a bit of mark making, a bit of collage. It's quite full on, but I quite like it. I like her just kind of peeking out. Don't know that I like that white bit going down there. I might change that, but I'm going to leave it for the time being. And I think what we do meantime is just use that on the inside. I won't tie this round just now because obviously it's wet. So I hope you enjoyed this quick, easy to make scrappy junk journal and watching the process for doing the cover page. I'll have another video coming out towards the end of next week, the second half of the week, but before the weekend. And it might be one that's of interest to you, so please do watch out for that. And I'll be working more on this in the coming weeks and hopefully putting a few videos up of it. So thanks ever so much for watching. Do take care. Bye for now.